If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be a makeup and skincare haul from Yesta. I've been accumulating things, so let's go through them. Let's start with some of my eyes because I wanted to wear this eyeshadow because it's so dark and gray today that I wanted to compensate with something a little bright, a little fun. I got this single eyeshadow from 3CE. I have been obsessed, but I mean obsessed with their products. You're going to notice like half the makeup I got is from this brand. And I saw this single eyeshadow online and I was like, you know what? This looks pigmented. This looks appealing. I don't have anything remotely like this in my collection. Let me grab this. This is a one color shadow. It's a matte formula and this one is hashtag July Lime. And as you can see, it's a straight up lime bright color. I've been really into like fluo type of colors and I feel like everyone has been like clothing wise and everything, but I saw this and I was like, you know what? Let me try this. It looked pigmented in these swatches online, but I wanted to see what it would look like in person because I feel like a lot of times eyeshadows that are like Korean brands, for example, will be not super pigmented, which I'm perfectly okay with that. Actually, I prefer that on a daily basis, but I wanted this to be pigmented and turns out it is. Uh, it's not the most pigmented formula. I feel like I have to build it a little bit, but nothing dramatic. And I feel like what I like the most is that it blends so well which I'm not sure how well I'm gonna be able to do, show that on my hand, but you can kind of see, like, look how even that is. So I feel like on the eye, it's gonna be amazing. And after even touching this, I now want to get more of the shades because they have like really bright, fun colors, like tomato red, they have like an eggplant color and then a uh, really bright orange. So I feel like it's gonna be worth it to get some of these colors that will be, like if they blend this nicely, basically, I need them because I feel like very often those type of shades don't blend nicely and it can be hard to use them. Like you can use them as a pop of color like this. It's like the easiest way of using them, right? But uh, to blend them sleep seamlessly, it's harder. And I feel like the formula is amazing. So I'm so happy with this. And I have like lime green everywhere right now because I've been playing with it, but so good. Summer's approaching, which means we all need way more sunscreen in our lives. And this is the Epure uh, Pure Bluck Aqua Sun Gel. And they just recently changed the packaging and for some reason I found it quite appealing. So I decided to grab it. Uh, let me just actually swatch it. As you can see, it's a very like light, almost like clear gel uh, formula. So I feel like it shouldn't give me a white cast. It does have perfume in it, but it smells really nice to me. So I don't really have an issue. My skin isn't really sensitive to fragrance. So it's one of those formula that like literally sinks into your skin and you don't feel it, which is like a must for me. I hate applying sunscreen that I can feel on my face. I don't like white cast and I want to be able to apply makeup on top. And also during the summer, I tend to share my sunscreen, so I really want something that has zero white cast. And I really like the Dior one, but then I wanted to try this one. And so far, my first impression is positive. I've been testing it on my neck to see it breaks me out, and so far, it hasn't. So next step is my face. Fingers crossed. But it seems promising so far. Okay, this is technically a repurchase slash I just got more colors because I love love this lip balm i have the pink one i've talked about it in the past this is the etude house uh sweet no cherry sweet color lip balm and i got two more shades because i'm obsessed with the pink one i've worn it so much last summer it's currently my purse i just love it it's a very natural kind of pink color uh, it's kind of those that adapts to your lip type of thing and i decided to grab an orange one which i think it's just orange right yeah it's orange uh, 201 let me actually try to swatch it i'm like building it up a little bit so you can see, I'm not sure how that's gonna look like on my lips, let's be real, but like it just, very, very nice formula. And I like these because if these are the same as the pink one, obviously, uh, they're actually moisturizing. I feel like very often whenever a formula is like a tinted lip balm, you get the tint, but no lip balm really. And this one I actually felt like it was actually moisturizing my lips and this is the red one. So I'm gonna keep you updated on these, but I can already tell you the pink one is a must. I love it so much and these smell really, really nice with like cherry and I just will be putting this again in my purse and wear them because they're amazing. They're super low maintenance, right? You get quite a bit of color and they actually moisturize, which is like, why is it so difficult to find? I don't know. Skin products. I decided to try this uh, Cosrx Blemish Cover Cushion. I feel like my skin has been going back and forth between looking pretty flawless to like breaking out a ton. Hormones are fun like that. Uh, but this is supposed to be like treating your acne while you're covering it up. And I was like, you know what, let's test this. I feel like I've been obsessed and kind of boring <laughs> always wearing this uh, BB cream. This is the Leo LE Beyond a Solution BB cream. I've repurchased this so many times. This one is actually empty. Like I've literally used the last bit of it. And uh, I wanted to test something different, even though I will probably still repurchase this. 
I haven't tried it yet, but I will keep you dated. Actually, I might do a like full face of like first impression testing new Korean makeup type of thing uh, because this is just a, uh, I mean, I haven't opened it, uh, a little cushion one. I actually haven't tried that many uh, cushion foundations because I've tried a few that are like, you know, Western ones and they were okay, but I struggle with finding something that works for my combination skin. I feel like my T-zone gets quite oily, especially during the summer, but I'm also quite dehydrated and I will de get dry patches mostly around my nose. And finding something that works for both is like nearly impossible, except this. So I thought I would give this one a shot because uh, it is for acne prone skin. So usually it's more oily. So I'm hoping it's gonna help control the oil at the same time. So fingers crossed. Uh, speaking of repurchase, I also repurchased some of these. These are my favorite uh, fancy, fancy face mask. Uh, those are the Dr. Jar Ceramidin uh, sheet mask. I get these on YesStyle because you get the pack of five for much cheaper than it would be to get them at Sephora. I think depending what the price is, because it goes up and down, you get like one or two for free by buying them on YesStyle. So obviously I get them there because it's much cheaper. And those are like the ones when I want to feel very bougie and just like, <laughs> they're really, really good. Uh, very moisturizing mask. Even though these ones are supposed to be for like dry to very dry skin, which again, I don't have. Uh, it just really moisturized my skin without blocking my pores and I'm so prone to having any like gunk and CC. So, and whenever I do break out, uh, I have like a whole technique I feel like for acne, but whenever I get those like deep under the skin cyst, usually around that time of the month, usually on my chin, I had one like there not that long ago, you can see a little bit of discoloration still left, but we survived it. Uh, I go to this. This is Oxy 5, which is 5% benzoyl peroxide. I get it online because otherwise I need to get a prescription for it and I'm not about that life. Basically, this is what the bottle looks like. I'm like literally almost done with the one I'm currently using. Uh, they say that it's colorless. Not true, it's definitely a white dot, uh, but I use this at night. I will only use this like two or three days whenever I have a cyst because this is so strong and my skin is super sensitive to any actives. And yeah, two, three days is enough to just kill that monster, keep it, you know, calming down. I even tested this on my boyfriend. He had a cyst, put it on there, next day it was gone. I was like, I want your skin, this is just not fair. So uh, if you want something quite powerful, I would try this. Some people use this as like a mask, like on a section of skin. Just be super careful, don't overdo it. Uh, it's so easy to overdo it, I feel like, with benzoyl peroxide, but when you're desperate, this is very effective, so needed to repurchase before I run out because I don't want to be without it. I also decided to try some of these products because uh, those are the uh, Etude House Sunjun uh, line and they have minis, like travel sizes, and I mean, I don't really need to purchase more skincare, but these have been raved about so, so much that I decided to try them. Plus, I am going to be traveling, so I was like, you know what? Good excuse to actually get these two. Uh, I grabbed the 5.5 Relief Toner, and this is the 6.5 Whip Cleanser. So I will be able to actually test them and see how they work on my skin. Uh, this has been like raved so much about. Apparently, it's a very lightweight toner that is quite moisturizing without... Uh, like giving you acne, blocking your pores, and you can do a few layers. And I've also heard great things about this type of like moussey uh, cleanser. So I'm very excited to try these actually. Like all the reviews I've seen are so positive. They have very few ingredients and they're quite uh, nice ones too. Like um, fentanyl, which is vitamin B5. There's like metacasticide, all those classic soothing uh, products for like acne or dry skin. So I'm hoping they will work for me too. Okay, let's go back to 3CE because I have so many products by them. Uh, this blush, I had to laugh when I saw it because online it looks like a big blush. And then when you see it in person, it's so adorable. Uh, really that color, I don't need a huge one anyway, so I'm okay with it. But um, doesn't that look like a Polly Pocket to you? Because it looks like a Polly Pocket to me. Uh, this is the most adorable little blush ever. Uh, I have been looking for a really good kind of cantaloupe type of color for a while. I feel like a lot of blush that I have tend to be, when they're light, they tend to be more cool tone. And I feel like this is like a yellow base orange and I don't have anything like this and I'm so excited by it. It's a matte one too. Actually, let me swatch it. I haven't touched it yet. I'm like so sad to like ruin it, but oh, this is so cute. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. I feel like this is going to be such a good color for like the spring and then towards summer. Uh, I'm currently testing a foundation, which I feel like is a bit dark for me, as you can see. So I feel like when I wear a skin product that is my skin color at the moment, I feel like this is going to work for me right now. Maybe during the summer it's going to be a bit light, but 
I'm gonna have so much fun with this. I've been trying to find something exactly this color and I mean the packaging is also to die for so I needed to try this and I will keep you updated. Maybe I will include that in my full face of testing Korean products because it looks right up my alley, let's just say it. I also decided to try some of the lip products because I'm obsessed. Uh, I did a video swatching their uh, liquid lipsticks. They're so good. Uh, but I haven't tried yet these matte-ish lipsticks. So I grabbed two. This one is the color uh, 218. Oh, mirror-like. It's written right underneath. And it's really not my type of color, like at all. I can't smell anything. Uh, I don't think there's a scent to it. It's a really nice matte formula, super pigmented. And again, this looks like all my other lipsticks and I'm okay with this. And then I grabbed also this color, which I feel like might be more of a fall color, but you know what? I feel like during like summer, I will definitely grab this too. It's a nice red, kind of like almost a bit brick red. And oh my God, yes, yes. So I need to try these, want to test the formula. And so far, I mean, they swatch nicely. But these will go on my lips very soon and I'll keep you updated. But yeah, I feel like I've heard amazing things about these. So finally decided to grab two. And I got actually one more lip product by them, which is, I think it's a very new product by them. This is their uh, Take a Layer. Like it's a like lip oil tint type of thing. Let me actually open this because I haven't tried it yet. This one is Most Orange. And I'm not sure how that's going to swatch, but this is what the applicator looks like. And oh my, that's super pigmented. Look at this. I almost like this is a, almost had an accident here. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be lip oiled. I didn't expect it to be dispigmented. Oh, did I put some on my nose? No, okay. I don't smell anything. I will be testing this. I've been so obsessed with like uh, more glossy lips uh, and more like lip oils. And when I saw that they just came out with these, I was like, well, let me just grab one. And they always have really nice packaging. Look at this. How cute is it? So again, I'll keep you updated on that one too because I just, just got it. Actually, let me try to remove it from my hand. I'm sure it's already, yeah, it already left a stain. So I'm gonna walk around with this. <laughs> yeah. So that's gonna be really nice on your lips. Like I feel like it's super low maintenance. You just throw this on during the summer and then you go and you have cute lips all day long. Speaking of removing makeup, I've been trying to get more and more into oil cleansers. I'm currently almost done uh, with the DHC deep cleansing oil and I do really like that one, but I wanted to try this one because it's so cheap, like almost too cheap to like believe it's gonna work, but the reviews are super positive. And this one is the deep formula also. So I thought like the other one I'm using is deep, this one is deep. And during the summer, I'm gonna be wearing a ton more uh, sunscreen and everything. So I feel like this might actually be better. This one is supposed to smell like oranges. Kind of, I have a horrible sense of smell, but I feel like it does smell like oranges. And it's about like 10, $12. And this one is supposed to also be really good. I tend to use these. Uh, whenever I'm not wearing a ton of makeup, I'll literally just jump in the shower, apply it dry to my face, add a bit of water so it kind of milkifies, mil mil emulsifies, and kind of becomes a bit more milky, and I just uh, wash it off, and my makeup is gone, and it's magical, and it's super effortless and everything. So I wanted to try this one because of the reviews. I also decided to try this one, which is by Meg Prem. This is their Double Phase Cleansing Cleanser Gently Wipes Away Makeup and Makes Skin Bright. What? It's a cleansing water oil. Okay, I was starting to like read the whole thing. Um, so basically, as you can see, it's like a, a bi-phase type of cleanser. You just shake it and it becomes all one. And then you're able to remove your makeup. I tend to use those either one when I'm really lazy to do my whole face. Or usually I keep these type of removers for just whenever I'm wearing a ton of eye makeup or like I'm wearing right now false lashes. So just remove this before jumping in shower with some oil. So I decided to try this one because let's be real, it's really pretty. And I've been wanting to try uh, more products by Make Prem, which actually <laughs> decided to grab uh, their sunscreen because I've heard so many people rave about their sunscreens. And I saw this one, which is the UV Defense Me uh, Blu-ray Sun Gel. And I think this is the one that was recommended to me. I know they also have one that has the orange cap and I couldn't remember which one was the one that everyone likes, but I mean, sun gel doesn't sound bad, and let me actually try it on my hand. This one I haven't tested yet, but I tend to prefer gels once again because I want to be able to wear makeup on top or just not feel them on my face. So this is what it looks like, which try... Okay, actually seems to be quite, like, gel clear one. Yeah, it does have a more floral scent to it, which I'm not a huge fan of, like, strong scents, even though, once again, I can't smell very well, but... 
Hopefully I don't really smell on my face, but it seems to be sinking in uh, quite fast, which is kind of what I care about. So uh, we'll keep you updated on that one too. Let's go back to makeup. Uh, I decided to grab this bronzer because I feel like whenever you go on Yes Style, you go to like the best selling everything of the makeup. And I've been trying to try a few of those products, including this bronzer, which is the Too Cool For School uh, Art Class by Rodin, Créateur du Contour. It's basically like a contour type of bronzer. You can use it to contour or you... I like that you can actually personalize how dark or not dark you want your bronzer. And I tend to prefer very cool tone bronzers without it being gray to actually use as a bronzer. Like one of my favorite ones is the Too Faced Chocolate Milk Soleil bronzer. And as you can see, it's actually not that far from this. So this I might not even use to contour. I don't really contour, I tend to just use a bronzer. So I feel like if I mix these two lightest ones, it's probably gonna be a bronzer for me. And I can also use this as an eyeshadow palette because really, those are the colors I tend to use on a daily basis. So let me actually try to swatch these. Let me try separately and then together. Even though the light one, you're not gonna really be able to see on my skin tone, but let's see, let's see, let's see. So this is what all three looks like. So I feel like that's an eyeshadow palette, really. And this is what together they look like. That looks like a bronzer to me. That looks like perfect for my everyday type of bronzer. It's matte, it's not too dark, it's not overly pigmented, which I prefer for my face makeup. So I feel like this is gonna be very easy. Again, maybe I'll include that in my full face testing new makeup because so many people love this and hopefully I do too. Speaking of bestsellers, I saw this lash serum and every single lash serum that I've seen contain aloe and I'm allergic to it. And I feel like sometimes I'll see it for like lipstick and everything and I won't have any reaction because it's the tiniest amount, I'm assuming. But I never want to take the risk with my lashes because it's literally my eyes and I prefer my eyes to not burn. Uh, so <laughs> I saw this one. This is the Etude House My Lash Serum and it just looks like a serum. The reviews are super positive and kind of just smells like alcohol really. So the reviews are super positive. I will be testing this because I feel like my lashes are pretty long, but they are quite straight. So I usually tend to just want something that curls them a little bit, but if it can make them longer and like fuller, I will take it. I feel like nobody is like, oh, my lashes are too long. I don't need any help. So <laughs> I will keep you updated. Maybe I'll do like a before after, show you if I see any results in anything, but the reviews were positive. So hopefully it actually works for me too. I also wanted to try this, uh, eyeliner. This is the McQueen uh, Waterproof Pen Liner in Deep Black, which I haven't even swatched it yet. I am forever on the hunt for the best matte black eyeliner ever that is waterproof. Uh, I feel like sometimes uh, eyeliner will mostly disappear on me more than like smudge. And I do have, um, what's the term? De deep set eye? I feel like this part of my eye will do this a little bit. So doing my eyeliner it can be tricky to not like it going everywhere basically and me ending up looking like a raccoon. So I'm hoping that this will actually be working for me because I feel like Asian uh, eyeliners tend to be quite waterproof and I need that in my life. Ooh, this is actually pretty thin too. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Obviously first swatch is not the darkest one because there you go. So this is what it looks like. Uh, I'm gonna be testing that. Would you be curious to see me test like a bunch of like mascara or eyeliner from Korean or just Asian brands and do like one of those wrap ups that I tend to do because I feel like maybe this is the key to finding a good affordable either mascara or eyeliner that is quite black and matte. So I don't know, I'll keep you updated on this, but I'm excited. The reviews once again were very positive. This was also in the list of like best sellers. So I let myself be tempted. I also grabbed this eyeshadow palette, which is the Olika Olika uh, Milky Shadow in, uh, this is number one. And I feel like this is right up my alley. I feel like this is perfect summer eyeshadow palette. Uh, again, I do expect the shadows, I haven't even tried them yet, but let's swatch them. I do expect them to not be super pigmented, but again, I prefer eyeshadow palettes to not be super pigmented on a daily basis. As long as they're like blendable, this is pretty much what I care about. I feel like they're still pretty pigmented. So this is what all four look like. I feel like I'm definitely gonna use the three lightest one the most, so Again, I need to test it on my face because obviously sometimes they don't actually blend nicely or something, but super affordable too. I think this was around $10 and then the reviews were also positive. So I will keep you updated on that, but this seems right up my alley. I've been trying to find really wearable peach colors because I feel like a lot of the ones that have been coming out are super intense and not everyone wants that for a daily basis. So I wanted to see if this could be it for me. 
And actually, I grabbed a second one, which... Does this look familiar? <laughs> Doesn't remind me of the Too Faced palette at all. Uh, this is the Etude House Peach Farm Play Color Eye palette. Yeah, Peach Farm. And whoop, this is what the palette looks like. I mean, really, it doesn't remind me of anything at all. And again, those seem to be like really nice wearable type of peach shades, which I feel like we needed more options. And let me just swatch them. Once again, didn't even touch them yet. So let's see. Let me swap out that one. It's been calling my name. So, ooh, yes, I like. So let me just swatch a couple. This is awkward, but yeah, that was really awkward. I have like very, very bony hands. So I feel like whenever I try to swatch things, it just never swatched nicely. <laughs> I can't do those. I should do it on my arm or something. There you go. That's better. Uh, so as you can see, they're fairly sheer, uh, especially the shimmery shadows, but I kind of prefer it once again on a daily basis to have just a sheer wash of color than like straight up really intense, kind of almost cut crease looking type of shadow in my eyes. So again, I'll need to test this on my face, but this seems promising. Speaking of sparkle, I decided to grab these, which the brand is not on it. So again, I'll put everything down below, but this is the Shine Fix Eye in number 29. And it seems to be one of those like pressed pigments that have been everywhere, like Tarte, Marc Jacobs, and they're usually quite expensive. And I wanted to try to find maybe a dupe for a future video. So I, <clears throat> oh my God, do you see this? The whole shadow is following. What the hell? So let me just try to like swatch this. Yeah, it seems to be one of those like more sheer version once again of like sparkles, which this is not doing it any justice, but it's right here. And it seems to just give me a nice shine, kind of a little bit of a glitter, but wearable one. And I've been really liking to uh, either do that with the Tarte one or even more the Stila Liquid Glitter Shimmer uh, eyeshadows. On a daily basis, I just share them out as much as possible to just give me a wash of sparkles. And I feel like this is giving me something similar. So I'm going to keep you updated on that one too. But definitely on the sheer side, but I think it might be a good alternative for it. So for a while, I feel like everything was breaking me out. And I feel like it was the cleanser I was using. Again, who knows? Sometimes with acne, especially if it's hormonal acne, you think you, there's a reason for you to break out. But then it turns out it's just because. Uh, so I wanted to try some really, really simple skincare products. So I tried to grab this one. This is the Innisfree. I feel like I've had a lot of luck with Innisfree products and this is their minimum ampule essence for sensitive skin. And it has like very, very minimal ingredients, like very calming, moisturizing ingredients that don't seem to be overly thick and shouldn't break me out. Actually, let me try to... Oh! So as you can see, it's a clear almost gel essence. So once again, there's a uh, metacastaside, for example, which is uh, in everything I feel like lately, like uh, Sika or like uh, Centella Asiatica. It's basically an ingredient that is in right now, but it's really big for calming redness or acne. So I feel like this should be great for the summer because it's super lightweight. Another product by Innisfree that I grabbed was this one. This is their Super Volcanic Pore Clay Mask 2X. And I love the Origins, the pink mask that they have, but it's kind of on the pricey side, so I feel like I don't use it as much as I would like because I'm trying to like stretch it as much as possible. But when I use it, I feel like my pores literally disappear. So I wanted to see if I could find something else that would work for me without drying the crap out of my face because I feel like sometimes when I don't moisturize enough, that's when I break out even more. So I'm hoping that this will work out for me because once again, amazing reviews and actually even the packaging is really nice. Let me see. I'm trying to tell you if it smells like anything, and I don't know. I don't feel like there's a scent to it. But it's a gray, plain, mud mask type of thing. Yeah, did you say a geovolcanic cluster sphere? So I will keep you updated on that one too. I feel like some care tends to take me a little bit longer to see if the product is actually working or not. So I'll keep you updated. But the reviews are so positive. Let me know if you have actually tried this. I got more blushes also from 3CE because I cannot be stopped. But I love what I tend to call a boring blush. They're just so easy. You don't have to overthink what you're wearing on your eye, your lip. You don't have to even think about it. You just slap a boring blush on your cheeks. They look like nothing in the pan, but they look amazing on your skin. And I grabbed these two colors because they were calling my name. So this one is Nude Peach and this one is Rose Beige. I feel like it's more of a light peach really than a rose or beige, but whatever. Let me try to swatch them. I feel like this one might be a bit light for me right now, but they're both matte. They seem quite pigmented without being overly pigmented and they're both right up my alley, let's be real. So 
I'm so excited to try these. I feel like these, again, have amazing reviews. They just came out also with their spring collections and I have yet to pick up anything. I've been tempted, but I feel like I literally just got these two and I'm like, can I justify getting more blushes? The answer is yes. Uh, but <laughs> I'll look at them, I'll wait to see the reviews and then let me know if there's any other shades that I need from them because, or any actually other brands, because I haven't tried a lot of blushes actually from Korean brands or Japanese brands. So. Let me know your favorite ones because I'm obsessed with blushes and I know they have some really affordable ones. These are not the most affordable ones, but the reviews and the quality of the products have been so impressed so far that I kind of want to try everything by them. So grab these. I also got a few lip products. Uh, I got a lip balm and I have been uh, testing a bunch of lip balm to try and help my poor lips whenever I do lip swatch videos. And some of my favorite ones are the uh, La Neige lip mask I feel everyone is obsessed with. But I think I preferred the uh, Nuke Sign of the Miel one. But I saw great reviews on this one, which is uh, Anthem uh, Ginger Sugar Overnight Lip Mask. I was trying to like see the full name, <laughs> which also seemed to have great reviews. And I've been really enjoying like ginger smelling anything. Yeah, actually does have a nice faint scent and it's clear. Uh, I will be testing that because again, I feel like I've been on the hunt to like try and find the best lip balms ever. And this one uh, was one of the best sellers. So actually smells really nice. So I will keep you updated. It's a pretty big packaging too. I feel like the Laneige one lasts me like a whole year. So I've been trying to like not buy a ton of other ones because it's taking me forever to use it up. It's a good thing. But I mean, you get kind of tired of scent and you want to switch it up, right? I have been hearing great things about this. This is the Mandelic Acid 5% Skin Prep Water by uh, Wish Trend. Basically, mandelic acid is supposed to be a bigger size, um, I can't remember that name. It's basically supposed to be more gentle than uh, glycolic acid, which I love for my skin. I feel like it works better. AHA works better for me than BHA. And apparently this is even more gentle, so I wanted to test it out because I love AHA, but I can't use it too often, like once or twice a week, and it's like pushing it for me. So I thought I would give this one a shot. It's actually smaller than I thought it was going to be, but I don't use acids a lot because, again, so far the reviews were really positive on it, so I really wanted to try and test it. It's supposed to be good to remove dead cells, which I tend to have, again, if I have dehydration, I have those little dry patches, and it's supposed to just smooth your skin, so definitely uh, all in for that. I let myself be tempted with a new essence. I love, love toners, essence, ampule, all of that good stuff. I feel like that's what makes the biggest difference for me for my dehydration. If I slap on a thick moisturizer, I will break out. So the best way for me to try and help my skin be more moisturized or hydrated is to slap on a few layers of light moisturizing <laughs> layers. Words are hard. Uh, this is the, uh, I'm from Mugword Essence. For some reason, for the longest time, I kept seeing this everywhere and I kept thinking, warm like mug warm and I was like why would I want to put warm juice on my face says the girl that used Snell Musin. Uh, but for some reason I thought it was warm but it's actually a plant so what is wrong with me decided to get over myself and actually test this because the reviews are again super positive I've been seeing people like try this love this there's also a masks version and I want to see if that's actually going to work for me too let me see if there's a scent to it if I can smell anything because I've been dying to try more essence. I'm like running low on a few toners and I'm like, yeah, t time to like get new ones and never finish the other ones, right? <laughs> I think there might be some scent to it, but I have like makeup remover and everything on myself. So I feel like I can't smell anything, but uh, it's a very lightweight, liquidy, watery uh, essence. And I will, again, keep you updated, but the reviews are really positive. The brands in general, I feel like uh, I also got the uh, rice one a while ago and I do like that toner. So I thought, you know what? I had a good experience with one. Let me see if this one works. Now that I know it's not made of worms, what is wrong with me? <laughs> So those are all the things I got on YesStyle. Let me in the comment section if you have tried any of these and what you thought about them. Let me know if there's anything you would like to see a review on. Like I said, I think I'm gonna do a like full face of like trying on a bunch of Korean or Japanese uh, makeup products because why not? And also let me know if you have any recommendations of mascaras or eyeliner that you would like me to test to do a group review or even foundation or concealer. Let me know. Uh, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on any future videos. I will be actually be putting some on the screen that I recommend you check out. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.